Okay, good morning. Welcome to Family Math number 225. Family Math 225. So this was a, a puzzle I heard yesterday. Here's a, here's a marker if you need it. Um, unfortunately, I was, I was listening to a bunch of different math podcasts yesterday, and I forget which one I heard it on. Um, but our friend Paula uh, shared a, a neat blog post last night, and it reminded me of this puzzle. And so overnight, I 3D printed some shapes. So here I have a 5-5-8 five, five, triangle. Yep. And here I have a 5-5-6 five, five, triangle. Hmm. Yeah. And the puzzle is to try to figure out um, which shape has the most area? Well, to find the area of a triangle, we just need to do one half base times height. Yep. Except in these triangles, we don't really know the height. Ah, we don't know the height. We don't know this length here, that length there. Okay. How do you think we could? How do you think we could find that? Right. Well, we, I could just redraw the triangle. You could divide it into two smaller triangles. We could draw the height, which we call it x. All right. And these two parts would be four, and we could use the Pythagorean theorem to find the missing side. Okay. So, Pythagorean theorem th says a squared plus b squared is c squared. So, that means, well, 4 squared is 16, and 5 squared is 25. I mean, 16 plus x squared is 25. Uh -huh. That's 9. Okay. And then n squared is 3. So, 3 squared is 9. Yeah. Yeah, squared of 9 is 3. So we know, I mean, I know this length is 3. Okay. Now we can just do one half eight times three, that's twenty-four over two is so this triangle has area twelve. Good job. Now we can do the same thing for this triangle here. So you can cut it in half. These segments so we can size X in. But it looks like here it's the same three, four, five triangle then because nine plus sixteen will equal twenty-five. Oh, okay. So it's the same. So this side is four. So that means we just have to do six times four over two, and that is twelve. Okay. So which triangle has the most area? Neither. They, Why not? they have the same area. Interesting. <clears throat> Why do they have the same area? Well, because when you stretch out the base and you keep these two side lengths the same, the area doesn't change at all. Huh. Because if you stretch it out, these sides get longer and longer and the height gets less. Okay. Do you think that's going to be true in general, or do you think this was yeah. a lucky accident? I think this is going to be true in general. You think it's going to be true in general? Okay. Yeah. What if I stretched out the side lengths, this side, so far that this length was 10? 10. So then we'd have to find... Well, 10 here. Hmm. This would no longer be 3. Right. So... But... This triangle actually can't exist, it would just be a straight line. Ah, so what's its area? Zero. Zero. Yeah. And what if I squished it together so much so it was five five zero? Then there it would be zero. Yeah. So in those two cases the area is different. Yeah. So do you think it's do you think this is a lucky accident where we just ended up with two triangles with the same area? Or do you think it's sort of still true in general? I think it's still true in general because how, how far you stretch it out is proportional to the length of this. Okay, interesting. So we, we should investigate that a little further. Uh, but there's one um, sort of neat thing that happened here is these triangles were both made up of the same smaller triangles. Yeah. So I have those smaller triangles here. Sorry for smashing the camera. Hmm. 
so I 3D printed those as well. This is, this is the 558 five, triangle. That's here. the 558 five, triangle. And then it just has to go that, and you can make the 556 five, triangle. So in addition to calculating the height, in the base, there was a there was a, an alternate way to show that these triangles had the same area. Okay, and what, so how would you describe that way? You had to like chop them in half, and you got these little three, four, five right triangles, and you could just rearrange them to make both triangles. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Yeah. Pretty neat. What do you think of this puzzle? It's cool. Yeah, it's a pretty cool puzzle. What do you think is is uh, um, the easiest way to understand this puzzle is it is it using the three D prints or is it is it doing the geometric calculations? I think doing the uh, geometric calculations. Is you think doing the calculations? Okay, cool. And so obviously you can arrange these in other ways too. Look, I can make a little rectangle. You can make a kite. Oh, you can make a kite. Yeah, and all these all these shapes have the same area. Yeah. Cool. All right. Good job, huh? Great work.